Hi guys, welcome to this week's Warlord Wednesday. Now, this new Western Desert book that's come out, I really love it. I think it's the best of the campaign books that's come out so far. I mean, it's really thick, There's loads of content in it, loads of scenarios. And I've started doing Italians, as you know, you've been watching the channel. Now, this gives armoured lists for the Italians, but what it's lacking is points, costs, etc., of various infantry units and all that. So, what I've had to do is I've got ta -da, the Armies of Italy and the Axis book. This is really good. Click, click through, it covers armies of Italy, obviously. Yeah, Finland, Bulgaria, Hungary, Romania. So it's got army lists for all those nations. Only interested in the Italian part because I'm doing Italians for Western Desert. So in here it's got different units. So you've got regular infantry, inexperienced infantry, um, black shirts. Alpine ski sections, parachutes, the Bersalergi, is it? The, the veterans, the ones who have the uh, black feathers in the hats. Don't know how you pronounce the names. Uh, San Marco Marines, colonial troops. They're only 40 points. First squad, which is interesting. And you got machine gun teams, sniper teams, and obviously you got your mortar, artillery and vehicles which again these vehicles are all mentioned in the Western Desert book but it doesn't give you any uh, stats or anything for them so you, you need this book so just as a point of reference if you are going to get the Western Desert book and you want to play Italians you'll need the Italian book now I will be getting DAC and probably British for the for the Western Desert at a later date. I've already got the armies of books for them, so I don't need the armies of books for GB or armies of Germany. But I needed this one, so it gives me the set. In fact, I think the only um well I haven't got is the Japanese one. I think I've got all the rest of them. No, I haven't got the Russian one either. But I've got I've got all the rest of the armies of books in it. Yep, so uh, interesting read. So this, in conjunction with this, as I said, well, it's a, at the end of the day, it is a, what it says the campaign book. Doesn't say it's good. It was going to give the stats for the units. I mean, it's just got stats for the new units. But if you're going to get this Western Desert book, you will need the Armies of book for whatever nation you're going to play to go with it. But as I say, because the stats for the basic units and it's not in the campaign book it's a campaign book so why should they be so this week i've been working on my terrain for western desert and i'm going to show you now how i made my wadi which is basically it's a dried riverbed when the rainy season comes fills with water becomes a river but that might only be one week out of the year normally it's just dry riverbed with reeds down either side and so I'll uh, show you that now so this is how I've made my desert wadi started off with a piece of cardboard and what I've done is I've made sure the ends are the same size um, in between doesn't matter because it's sort of meandering and I've put two runs with hot glue down the side what this is for is so use less um, filler and also uh, the filler will dry faster because the first one I did I just did filler and it took ages to dry because the filler was that thick for the built up sides so put on the hot glue gun it reduces the filler and it actually goes off quicker so after I did that 
I apply the filler and you can see that the sides are raised to make the, the, the body so this bit is going to be the sort of bit in the ground and then the raised sides also after I did this and this was dry I then turned it over and I coated the back in PVA this was so it went flat because it was like twisted like and all over the place because when the the filler dries it, it shrinks and of course it causes the cardboard to do that so when you put PVA on the back it goes back flat again so after that was done I gave the whole thing a coat of this Gamborg colour artistic I think it was from B&M's or one of them it's the cheap artistic paints 129 or 149 I think it was so again give it all a coat of that and then let it dry after I did that I got some coir matting and I've just cut very thin strips off the end like so it's, it's only three or four mil wide of that and then once and then again cut it up into lengths various lengths you want and then glue it down in various places Okay, and use a hot glue gun on that only because it's quicker I could have used PVA or something but it takes longer so using the hot glue let's move on to the next bit quicker so the next thing I did was all favourite PVA and sand so I put PVA down the sides uh, with a bit of water and then sprinkled sand over it and then left it to dry and then when I've done when that was dry which it is now this one I'll be uh, painting in a bit I then painted all the sides with this yellow ochre and you see it's quite a dark colour and then the last thing I did Is I used this dark sand as a, a dry brush and I dry brushed over the whole lot and it sort of tied all the colours together so you can still see a bit of the, the yellow ochre here and in the, the bite base there you can still see a bit of that gamboge so that's it it's my desert wadi dried riverbed and as is customarily the case when you've finished it you put some figures on and try it out so here we go five man Italian patrol moving down the wadi so there you go guys an easy and quick way of making wadi as I say this is the only one that's done so I've got to finish off all the others I've got eight of these straight sections to do I've also got a couple of curves that I've done, still in the first stage, and I've also made this uh, white piece. Again, so quite still quite a bit to do to get them all finished. Hopefully, I'll have all the sections done for next week's show. Okay guys, that's it for this week. Join me next week when I continue my quest in the Western Desert with my Italian army. Until then, stay safe out there.